So I put up a video a few days ago about the new Bing and if I wasn't blown away a few days ago, uh, and I was, I definitely am now. So I've been using the new Bing for a while and I have found out that it's not just an amazing tool for searching the internet, it is a game changing tool for blogging. So before I start going through the incredible workflow I've managed to get working today, I'm going to ask that you like and subscribe to the video. If you have any questions, leave a quick comment down below and I'd be more than happy to help you. But I put up a post today and this post is here. It is seven steps to behavioral economics and marketing. And that blog post is something I have put together using ChatGPT and Bing. There is not one bit of manual typing in this article. It is entirely what I got from those two services. Now, I have also put together some great tools for people who want to use AI. If you want to use those tools, there's a link down in the description. And if you have phrase, get on it straight away. If you don't have phrase, well, there's also a link there. So what I've done is I have used Bing to be able to get the information, which is then allowed me to write the blog post. So the first thing I've done for this is found a keyword, behavioral economics, and then I've gone into ChatGPT and I have asked some questions for some ways to use behavioral economics in a blog post. I've used my favorite uh, behavioral economics marketing person, Rory Sutherland, who is unbelievable on that subject if you've never listened to him before. He's come up with some ideas, and as you can see here, I've chose my favorite one, which is about stories. I've then come to Bing. Now, if you have a look on here, what I've done is I have asked a question about some examples. Now, one of the problems about putting together posts on subjects like this is it's very difficult to use the AI software to put it together because it will just make up examples. So what I've done here is I've asked a question about some examples about successful storytelling. So the examples are real and that will help guide the post to be not just another AI post, but a real valuable post. It's then given me, as you can see here, five different examples. And those will be pulled from these four websites on here. So what that's allowed me to do is very quickly get five examples that I can use throughout this blog post. I've then asked another question about a bit of information on science, which is, it is information I'd use, so I didn't use this in the final blog post. But these five stories here, they're in there. So what I've then done is gone back to ChatGPT and straight away, I have put this together into a outline using the examples. And then what that's done is I've been able to then go through and put together four, well, put together all these sections one by one into an overall blog post. Now, I haven't done any manual work on these. What I will usually do when I do a blog post is I will go out there and I will put these into another tool. I'll rewrite them. Maybe use something to make it a bit less AI-like, a bit less robotic. But here, I was happy with this straight away. And as Google has said that there is no problem with having posts out there that are entirely AI, I've just gone ahead and posted it because it is a very good article on its own. But what this has done is this has turned what would be a hours and hours long experience of searching and searching, getting the information together, writing, rewriting, it's turned it into a, ha a half an hour of pulling together 30 minutes from start to finish. So think how you in your workflow. If you're out there putting together blog posts on subjects you don't really understand or you don't have the time to research, Bing will speed that up for you. You still want to do some fact checking, it will sometimes give you some strange stuff, but all you have to do is quickly flick through the sources it gives you. If the information is in there, you know that it's legitimate and it's going to very quickly turn your AI blog post into a value adding machine. So this is just a quick video to go through how you can now use, if you've got access to Bing, this tool to really supercharge your blog writing. Uh, like I said, like and subscribe because there'll be so many more videos like this coming up teaching you how to use AI to really supercharge your blogs.